In this video, I'll show you how to create the Apple style doc animation using just HTML, CSS, and no JavaScript. And this video is inspired by this tweet by Jay, one of the top people I follow on Twitter. And you can see the animation here. And this is similar to what you have on your doc. So if you look at below here, you can see that by hovering on any of these icons here, it sort of goes to the top and it scales a bit. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, let's do this with HTML and CSS. For the final result, this is what I have. Of course, this is not as good as what Jay has, but this is what we'll be building in this video. So let's get into it. So this is what we'll be working with here. Currently hovering on them does nothing. And this is the code here. Here we have a div with a class of container, and then we have a div with a class of box. And in this box, we have item and we have like five other boxes with item children in them. And when you go to the style, you can see the container is a flex item. And on each of the box, it has a width and height of 100 pixels. The item just has width and height of 100%. And then for the first box, background color black, second red, green, blue, yellow, green, and cyan. And the first thing we want to do is that when you hover on a box, we want to give it some transformation. So here I can say that dot box, when you hover on a box, then we want to give it a transform. And in this transform, we want to give it a scale of, let's say, 1.3. I want to give it a translate Y so that it translates on the Y axis. And we're going to give this minus 10 pixels. Now, if I come here, if I hover on the black, you can see this is here. By the way, I have a transition of transform 200 milliseconds here. So that is why we have this transition. If I remove this, you see it will not be smooth look not very smooth so i'm going to put this back and i'm going to make this scale 1.8 uh, let's say 1.6 and i'll make the translate minus 20 pixels something like this and see what we have here i think this is looking good so far now the next thing i want to do is that when you hover on the box you want the box next to it to also have some transformation so in this case when we hover on black we want red to also have some transformations and if you hover on red you want green to also have some transformations and this is where you use the adjacent sibling combinator so here i can see when you hover on a box then using the adjacent sibling combinator which is plus it means get the sibling that comes after this box so here i can get the box sibling so again when you hover on this box get the box sibling that is an adjacent sibling to it and then here we can have a transform and we can have a scale of maybe 1.3 then we can have translation on the y axis not x y and then we can have maybe 10 pixels now if we come back here if we hover on the black you can see the red also has some transformation this is too big let me make it 1.2 and make this tough so if you hover on the black you can see the red also has some transformations i want to make this more obvious maybe i make this minus 25 pixels all right if you hover on the black you can see the red also has some transformations if you hover on the red the sibling that comes after it which is the green also has transformations and that is how it is till the end so this is the adjacent sibling combinator you also have the general sibling combinator which is the tilde sign and what this will do is i have to select every sibling that comes after the box that you hover on so in this case if i hover on the black you can see every sibling that comes after it would have this transformation if i hover on the red every sibling that comes after it has a transformation but in this case i only want the first sibling that comes after it by the way i have a video on css combinators where i looked in deep on the adjacent sibling combinator general sibling combinator and other combinators i'll link it below so you can check it out so now we have this where you hover on a box and the box that comes after it has some transformations but one thing you notice here is that if we hover on the red box the green has some transformation but we also want the black which is the sibling that comes before it we also want that to also have some transformations and this is where we can use the has pseudo class the has pseudo class is very powerful so here we can say if a box has so the has pseudo class allows you to style an element if that element has another element based on some selectors so here we're going to say if a box has so here again we can use the adjacent sibling combinator plus and then we can say box and hover then here we can apply our styles so what this means is that if a box has an adjacent sibling of a box that is currently in the hover state then you want to style this box i'm gonna say it again if a box has an adjacent sibling that is a box currently in the hover state then you apply some styles to this box so in this case i can just copy this from 
come here and paste this here now if we come here watch what happens if you hover on the black the sibling that comes after it takes effect but if you hover on the red the sibling that comes before the red and the sibling that comes after the red takes effect if you hover on the green same thing hover on the blue you can see left sibling right sibling left sibling right sibling so here you say when you hover on the box the adjacent box should have this and then here you say if a box has an adjacent sibling box that is currently in the hover state so if black has red in the hover state style black if red has green in the hover state style red so that is basically what we're doing here so now we can even combine this by copying that and then just pasting it here then i can remove this line so come back here if you hover on the red you can see left right left right left right let me even make this like 35 pixels over the top let me make this 25 let me make this 1.1 so look you can see how the left and right goes so you have seen how we've been able to create this nice animation effect you can use this for images boxes whatever it is and we didn't even use any javascript here just html and css and as you can see we leverage the adjacent sibling combinator and we also leverage the has pseudo class the has pseudo class is very powerful and i'll be making more css videos showing you different things you can do with this has pseudo class of course this is not as perfect as what j has over here but i hope this lays a foundation or gives you a good idea of some of the beautiful things beautiful animations beautiful transformations that you can do with css if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share with others and subscribe for more css videos or css tips like this